Hello and welcome to the penultimate movie that we're going to be watching in my Aliens and Predators movie watching extravaganza. We started with Alien to Aliens, Predator, Predator 2, Predators, and now we're going to be watching Prey and we will finish it off bringing it all together with Alien vs. Predator, which I've heard very mixed reviews on, but I feel like it is a must-see at this point. I've also gotten some mixed feedback on this particular movie. Some of you guys love it, some of you guys hate it. I'm excited to see how I'm gonna feel about it. So let's watch Prey. <clears throat> that was a rude way to wake somebody up. Effective, though. We have a good boy. She's pretty. Well, if I knew she had some like really cool face marking painting going on, I would have would have done something myself. The dog's like, confirmed. <laughs> Got it. Her dinner's getting away. <gasps> oh no. Oh, at least it was just his tail. Oh. Poor little doggy. Here they come. I think it's cool that they're making new Predator movies in 2022 and new Alien movies 2025, I think. I remember when Father told me I was ready for Katamia. Father and I went up into the hills. We crawled through the mud and my bowstring got ruined and... I was waiting for it to circle back. Tabe, this morning in the sky, I saw a sign. It was a good shot. It's time. I'm ready for my katamia. You want to hunt something that's hunting you. Hmm. Predator and prey at the same time. Nice little community they have here, it looks like. That's a... Trained him well. It's easy, he's smart. Mother be smart creatures, easy to train. Good point. You didn't put orange toots here. Who taught you about orange toots? You? My father left you that to cut bread root with. I almost got a deer with it. And you can't eat almost. Why do you want to hunt? Because you all think that I can't. Oh, uh, well, I mean, that's a good motivator. I don't know if that should be your only reason, though. Go get us some orange tootsia. Now, how are people like this going to fight something like that? Itze! A lion. He took Pui. You got to find him. Oh, no. I'm trying to think back of all the times that we have defeated a predator. And while big guns seem like they, you know, you would think that they would help. Heavy artillery. It's not usually how they're taken out in the end. It's more about strategy, strategic thinking, maybe a little luck. Like in the case of Predator 2, 
being able to get a hold of one of the predator's weapons and being against a young and experienced uh, predator in that case. So I'm interested to see how this is going to go. You could get shot sneaking up like that. They would have a much less understanding of the kind Who of technology that they're up against. She should stay. She tracks well. She knows medicine. You have to find that cat now. I will. Look at the little ant. Oh, that's cool. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that's actually a kind of big ant. Okay. When the predator becomes the prey, there's always a bigger fish. Kind of deal going on here. Circle of life. All that good stuff. Ooh. Ugh. You see that crushed bone? That's lion scat. That's lion scat. <laughs> They're alive. So do lions drag their prey and then just leave them somewhere? Why would they do that? Oh. That took a long time to make though. They can't just carry him with enough so people? So much could kill him. It won't kill him. Just cool his blood. Tabe wants to stay and hunt. I'm coming with you. There's something that scared the cat away from its den. Hmm. Stay with Boohee. He needs your help too. Oh, well, that makes sense. We need to get him home. When I'm sorry. Maybe it would have been too dangerous to try to carry him without the stretcher. Because of, he needs to stay Tobo. like flat. So his wounds don't get worse. The cold is good. The medicine slows his blood. If he gets warm, he'll bleed out. What am I looking at? Is this the snake? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Look. Could be bear tracks. Why was it on its hind legs and what skin's a snake like that? I have to warn my brother. The bones of the snake. Not, we don't need the torches. Why'd you come back? I found tracks. I'm not frightened by a bear. I don't know what it was. I've never seen anything like it. Well, whatever it was, we're in the cat's den now. We have to deal with it first. It'll think it's hunting us. We get some bait and climb up and wait for it. If you're too afraid to hunt, go back to camp where you belong. We'll try it not his way. It's time, not who. Her test? You cut them, yeah. When the lion comes, you tell that thing, this is as far as you go. This is it. He's gonna have the craziest kutamia ever. It won't matter how sharp it is if you're too afraid to use it. This guy's a real piece of work. You've never faced a lion. When your brother comes back, he and I will find the lion and kill him. <laughs> Yee! That is really She's back. Your brother carried you home. What happened to the jerk guy? What about the lion? How they went after it. I have to find him. It's amazing she survived. Who he survived? Because of your medicine. Good. Tommy needs my help. If your brother needed you, he wouldn't have brought you back here. But he doesn't know. You think the reason for Kotamiya is to prove you can hunt? But there's only one reason. To survive. Tabe Kima! Tabe Kima! You got the lion? Oh gosh. Beheaded it. Well, I don't know how one person could take on a mountain lion like that, so I, I really wish I could have seen his strategy there. But I suppose when your job, when your purpose is to hunt, you get pretty good at it. 
Get food for the for the tribe and protect everybody. So was the other guy okay? Did they mention or show him and I missed it? The guy who was in the tree with her that got knocked down? Aru! You did it! No, we didn't do it. Aru. There's something else out there. And if there is, I'll get it. Okay, well, I'll hunt alone if I have to. You can't. I had to carry you back. Yeah, she didn't do... Her performance was not too great. I can hunt. You're right. We didn't do it. I did. You couldn't bring it home. Didn't even attack it with their spear. <laughs> what an alarm clock. Who's the one who's kicking her? So she gets up early to go gather if with the other see, women, maybe? And show them. I mean, you had your chance, but... I'm just curious to see how somebody who could not even act against um, a lion is going to take on a predator. Beautiful scenery, though. Oh, predator blood. What a smart doggy. Oh, that's a big track. That would be a really big bear. I like the theme and the setting for this. The predator and the prey. Oh, I don't like that though. Poor little bunny rabbit. Oh. Ugh. And oh god. This is trophy. She can't even get a rabbit. How is she gonna Though I'm sure it's normal to have more failures than successes when it comes to hunting animals. What if she missed and that thing chopped her face? Okay. Well, she got the rabbits. Eventually, she got them. I don't know if the rope helped. Probably did help her speed. So she's Next able time to. Next cooking. He's like the fuck. <laughs> What'd you say to me, ma'am? I am a dog. We have to go find whatever left those tracks. Akitsi. If she thinks this thing is more dangerous than a mountain lion, I think she should... Well, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, she should... They should bring a whole hunting party out here, but... Nobody would listen to her. What the heck is this? Acid? Oh, that's how they get to the skull. Whoa. That is disgusting. I wonder what would win alien versus a predator. Whoa. A buffalo. Well, the predator wouldn't do this, would it? What's that? This just reminds me of Dances with Wolves, so I'm wondering if humans did that just for their s the hides. I mean, we do know that there's, what, people who use the traps, the metal traps. Oh! Quicksand. It's been a long time since I've seen quicksand in a movie. Is that supposed to be a bullet? 
Like a rifle bullet? Well, that came in handy for a purpose that I didn't think it would. And the more you struggle against quicksand, the more you'll get pulled in, right? But then how do you get out? That is terrifying. The swamp of sadness. Well, she's covered in mud, which might help against the predator's heat sensing scanners. Oh, she washed it off. Never mind. She should have kept it on. <laughs> there you are. I mean, there you are. He's a good boy. He brought you dinner. What happened to those rabbits? Did we eat all of them? How many rabbits does it take to feed one person? A bear? <gasps> the CGI bothers me. And they come out and say it. <laughs> Jurassic Park, like, looked so good. They could have done practical effects. It would have looked so much better. I mean, I know they can't hire a real bear. That would be the best, but... I heard they charge a lot. Well, this would be a good uh, way to prove herself for her... What you call it? Jeez. Did he brush his teeth? I'm getting flashbacks to Yakuza 5 where Saijima fist fought a bear. <laughs> yeah, there's no way the bear would win. I thought the bear had won. I saw that blood. Green blood. What are you doing here? Looking for you. Your brother sent us to bring you home. I saw what left those tracks. I couldn't see it until it was covered in blood, but it looked like like a moot beats. You saw a monster from a children's story? <laughs> like a Yeti? Like Bigfoot? Enough! <laughs> 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 Jesus. Oh. Oh. We're going home. There's something out there. You need a leash for your weapon? Saved her ass. Get some water. We'll rest a minute. Stay together. I said stay together. I gotta go take a squad. You want me to do it here? That guy's not Water. coming back. Oh dear. This is gonna be unpleasant. <laughs> e. Yep. Oh, right in the eye. Ugh. Is that its bone? Like its skull? <laughs> Gotta get her weapon back. Oh! Oh, jeez. What is 
What's that little axe gonna do against this guy, though? No, girl. At this point, you just you just pray to whatever gods you have. Okay, so she's running instead of fighting like the other guys, but... <laughs> Brother? No, who's this? Oh, the... Is this the guy who went to take a shit? I thought he was gonna be the first to die. Well, they can't hide. He's just gonna sense their heat. Unless his equipment got broken in that fight. And it did not. We have him. No. He has us. Ooh. This is very gory. Huh. One of those traps? <laughs> These are the guys who skinned the buffalo. Pour la façon qu'elle courait, je crois qu'elle a vu. I'm not super um impressed by her ability to fight and survive against a predator. She couldn't stand any chance against the lion, the bear, and it's it's very lucky that she survived um, all these encounters. She's always been saved. She's always been the prey, never the predator. I mean, she has talent, she has skills, but I'm not seeing enough to, to fight this thing. Not yet, anyways. <laughs> Dog. Leave the dog yeah, out of this. Buffalo. No respect for the buffalo. I have no idea what they're saying. What did you see? A translator. I speak a lot of languages. You should be helping us. This is a really strange way to ask for help. What do you know? He killed your whole party. I didn't kill everyone. Is that her brother? Yep. Again, this is a really strange way to ask for help. Are you hurt? Oh no, that, that didn't look painful at all. Okay, I think the brother and sister combo could take out the predator. The thing the white men are trying to catch. That's what you went out after? And that's what you chose for Katami. <laughs> well, now he believes her. Oh, now they're bait. Well, I guess this is how they want to oh, go uh, behind you? <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're going to be answering you. It's coming. Jesus. Oh, get your side loose. Or the bait. He's coming for us. No. It doesn't want bait. It doesn't hunt that way. It came right up to me. And then left. I didn't think I was a threat. Well, I, I'm not sure if you are either. You want to know how I killed that lion? Your plan. You weakened it. You had it, Naru. You can see what I miss. You always have. I don't know that this thing can be killed. If it bleeds, we can kill it. <laughs> okay, I'll accept the callback. I'll accept it. <laughs> Oh, they still had something up their sleeves. 
Yeah, it's not gonna go down that easy. <laughs> Holy crap, that thing is huge. Oh, geez. I'm glad I haven't eaten anything today. Wow. It's like nothing. Wow. Oh, what a cool sh- Oh, wow. Your guns are ineffective. Man, this predator is having a field day here. Well, it's interesting. We've seen the re the after effects of the predator killing a large group of people, but we've never I don't think we've ever seen him go after so many people. Usually it's like we see the aftermath of it and like who did this? Who could have done this? What could have done this? Ah! Jesus! <laughs> I saw a beaver that had its legs pinned between two rocks. It knew it was going to die. So it chewed off its one leg. So were we gonna cut off our, uh, what are we gonna do with that information? Wait, Nara, what are you doing, Nara? Nara, stop! <laughs> <laughs> I'm smarter than a beaver. Okay. <laughs> Come on, we gotta go. It's a way to scare your brother like that, jeez. I'll get Sunny. bomb I'm sure they had explosives I guess they probably didn't work like that though they probably have like dynamite and stuff maybe they wouldn't know that this is uh something that you shouldn't probably stick around to find out we gotta get the dog we gotta get the dog is Sadi a boy or a girl? Well, Sadi is a very good boy or good girl. Ça coûte mieux que le castor. Aww. Needs her rope back. Jeez. Okay, this is the first time we're really seeing her fight. Like, holy damn. Okay. She's got her axe. Oh, wow. What? Where was this energy before? <laughs> She's got to deal with all these bullet wounds. Help me. Help me, this in. Oh, his leg is gone. Oh. Help me. And I'll show you how to use it. Uh, what is that? Take the powder and put it in the gun. Not too little. Not too much. Ew. Uh, you take the ball and the cloth, put it in the gun. You take the stick you see there, and you put in the gun three, four it's times. Complicated. Put the powder here. Pull that back. Honey, it will fire. That's all. That's all? It's a lot of steps, and that's what? One shot? What is it? Oh. Oh. She gave him too much? I'm freezing cold. No, he's fine. Don't leave me. At this point, I would just ask for the predator to just end my suffering. And there he is, right on time. Oh, but he doesn't... The blood is a little warm, but the body is cold because of the... the... the flower. Well, why isn't its heat sensor detecting her? I can't see it. There you 
go. Now you don't have to worry about that missing leg anymore. Oh no. Don't you hurt the dog. Ooh, Tommy! Just in the nick of time. This little helmet's gone. Okay. Oh. Hey! Damn. That was a nice move. It's gonna take a lot more than that, though. been wanting to see her brother fight. Where did it go? Tommy. Run, Naru. Oh no, is he gonna die? This is as far as I go. No more. This is it. No. No. Oh no, I like Tabe. She ran. Aw, I thought they were gonna take him out together. I was really excited. That guy's a badass, so not afraid of a lion, not afraid of a bear. I was like, let me see this guy fight. Aw, her son dead, her daughter missing. Probably presumed dead. Is that that guy who was poking at her in the when she was in the cage? I don't think it would do much good to shoot him right now. Oh, she has predator weaponry. Whoa! What is she gonna do with this guy? Is she gonna use him as bait? But she knows the predator. The predator doesn't care for bait. What the hell? She took his leg? Why? You bled my brother. So now you bleed. And I'm not a threat. You can't see. But I'm killing you. And it won't either. Okay, so she... She's invisible to it. Heat ray sensors. Well, that guy didn't seem like much of a threat. The predator killed it. Why is this guy a trophy? Ooh. She took his helmet and shot him in the back of the head. That's got to do some damage. Does he no longer have his heat vision and all that stuff? Is that the bait? There's that guy's leg. Oh! Didn't have any more bullets? Oh, Sadi, don't get. Be careful. What's she gonna do? Well, I guess I'm seeing her as a threat now. And that thing can slice through even rocks. Is this the 
quicksand spot? Oh, she lured it here. Ah. Well, if she doesn't kill him, the horrible infection that he's about to get from all this mud and stuff getting in his open wounds probably will get him eventually. Do it. Do it? Do it. This is as far as you go. No more. This is it. What in the world just happened? danger nearby we need to move to easier protected ground same gun from predator 2 so how did the predators get the gun though <laughs> thank you guys for watching pray with me I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I ended up enjoying it. So I am recording this after I've edited the movie. So I did make a review and final thoughts immediately after finishing the movie, but I wanted to kind of make an addendum to my initial thoughts here. So originally I was a little bit bothered by some parts of this movie, such as I felt the switch from Naru to being somebody who could not protect herself, who was always being saved. I felt like she didn't really prove to me enough that she could do it, that she could fight and defeat a predator one-on-one. -on -one. Because with the lion, she got knocked out, she got saved by her brother. With the bear, she got saved by the predator. She got captured by the Frenchman. She was saved again by her brother. And then I felt like all of a sudden she could defeat a predator and I was like, where did this come from? It didn't make any sense to me and it kind of bothered me. I did note and I did note and was impressed by the fact that just like everybody in the movie was telling Naru that she couldn't do it, I was right there with them. I was as the audience member on the side of the characters that were not our hero, doubting her, thinking, she couldn't do it. How could she do it? She hasn't proven that she can. And I thought that was really interesting. And I feel like that was maybe intentional. I don't know if anybody else kind of felt like that the first time they were watching, but I definitely did. And after I finished the movie, I realized like, hey, I was them. I was literally the same as everybody else who was telling her that she couldn't do it. But as I edited the movie, of course, you end up watching the movie again. And I went from thinking like, this is probably towards the bottom of Predator movies for me to being like up towards the top. I think this movie is absolutely brilliant. It's genius. And let me tell you why. So I did initially love the focus on the roles of Predator and Prey. And we saw that a lot. There was the rabbit and the wolf. There was the bug with the little gopher or whatever, and then the snake. And the predator was watching, never attacked something until he realized that that was a predator like him. So being very observant, like we see in some of the other movies, but initially, and I don't know if the kind of changed or if it was always like this, but I kind of just thought that the predator was looking for people that could fight back, that were warriors, that could pose a threat. And in this movie, I started to see it more as he's looking for other predators. Predators just like himself. He is hunting something that could potentially want to hunt him. Just like the test 
of the villagers where they hunt something that's hunting them. It's literally a parallel, the predator and how he hunts with what they try to accomplish with their coming of age warrior test. I can't recall what it's called at the moment. So that I love. It puts the predator and Naru basically on the same level. They have the exact same goal as each other. So that's one thing I really liked. We also saw Naru being the prey over and over and over again to where the predator and everybody else and myself and probably some of you as well were thinking that there's no way that she could be a predator and it would make sense like it, it would seem forced if she were to just win because she has not proven to us that she can do it at least that's what i thought but in all these scenarios where she is the prey where she is not able to really fight back or to come out on top and is constantly needing to be saved by other people or by circumstances. She was building up knowledge and skills the whole way. How to track the predator, learning how the predator thinks, creating and learning how to use her axe with the rope, the orange flowers that chilled the blood, the location and what she could possibly use the quicksand spot for, the helmet and how she could use it to get the predator to essentially attack himself with his own projectile. And Tabe, her brother, always acknowledged that she had the strategy. She could see things. She could make plans in her head that no one else could think of. And she was able to take everything and put it all together in the end in a beautiful way. And I think with a little bit of encouragement from her brother that she needed, because as I was editing the part where she goes back into the French camp and starts just taking out all of these guys, these hunters, she's kicking them, she's got her axe going, and she is just taking them out left and right. It was insane. I'd never really seen her fight like that before. And I, I said, where did this energy come from all of a sudden? And so as I was editing, I was like, well, where did it come from? And then I recalled that, and I recalled that just prior to that, her brother finally acknowledged that she did it, that she could do it, and that he believed in her. And I'm not certain, but I think that flipped something inside of her. She was always saying that she could do it to everybody else. And I assume she believed that, but I'm not sure now that she actually believed it deep down in her heart. In her subconscious mind, I don't know if she actually believed that she could be everything that she said she could be and do all the things that she said she could do until he actually verbalized that he believed in her. And I want to believe that that's the truth because I love that. And that gave her just the nudge that she needed to stop holding herself back and to really accomplish everything that she actually could accomplish. Despite no one believing her, including me. And I'm getting emotional because it's it's beautiful and I love it. And as I was editing it, I'm just starting to like bawl my eyes out. And uh, just sometimes, sometimes you just need to watch a movie another time to appreciate it fully or to appreciate it a little bit more than you did the first time. And yeah, basically because of all the stuff that I mentioned that I didn't really catch on to. The first time watching, I was able to turn a movie that I liked and, you know, enjoyed it and thought it was a good movie to being like a just really brilliant and emotional experience. Anyways, I don't remember exactly what else I said about the movie, but I'll just go ahead and play the rest of the review for you guys. And thank you guys for listening to my little spiel here. <laughs> all right. Alien vs. Predator is going to be next as far as this series goes. Maybe we'll get around to it in a couple weeks, a month, or whatever. And uh, I'm excited. Thank you guys for watching another Predator movie with me. And I'll see you guys in the next one or in the next video. I'm gonna be watching like Rocky Balboa and who knows what else. And thank you for being here. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.